probably, and then I started to skate. Um, and then I just kind of incrementally started to do more, a little more bumping, a little more rotation, all that stuff, just to kind of to get it to, to where it is. And, uh, no, now I, I feel a little bit, but it's uh, uh, feels good. Are you going to wear any kind of protection? Yeah, I got like a little extra pad or something like that. So. Restricted in any sort of movement? No. Nope. How tough was it to sleep? Like that wasn't here. It wasn't great. No, no, straight, just straight on your, on your, on your back. <laughs> trying not, trying not to breathe. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it like that probably for the first four or five days? First four or five days, yeah. And then after, after day five, it turned, and I was able to be a human again a little bit. <laughs> and it was just from the knee. Yeah, I just slid. When you, yeah, when I slid, his back at the wall first, but his knee was out, so his knee was just sticking out, and I just my ribs just kind of went, I just wrapped around it. At uh, first, I just thought it knocked the wind, knocked the wind out of me. And then I got back to the bench and I couldn't get my wind back. I was like trying to get it back and it wasn't wasn't happening. So I was like, oh man. So I knew something was going on. But it happens. I remember, I remember when we talked to Torch earlier in the year. He said he talked to you, but when you first signed and that you know they were, were going to look at young guys and it was potential that maybe you would sit here and there. Yeah. As if you know now that you visited a couple, was it was it tough to not play? And yeah, I mean, it's always you always want to play. I mean, I want to play every game. But like I said, I, I understand um, what's going on here and. Uh, I came to help in, in any way that I can, and I'll continue to do that and, and be positive and, and um, keep, keep pushing this thing in the, in the right direction. And it's, it's just been, uh, it's been fun coming to the rink, and I'm just happy to be healthy again and, and moving around all right, and, and uh, we'll go from there. How do you see your role as a veteran guy on this team with the young team and everything? I mean, I, I think, I mean, for me, I think a lot of that mentor thing it gets a little bit, a little bit overblown, I think. Most guys that get here know how know what it takes to be here. I think a lot of times it's just learning from watching and uh, being around the room. And um, uh, I offer advice when I can, if they have questions or just plays that I see. Or I mean, I'm learning off these guys too. It's 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 it's, it's a lot of fun just to uh, to be around and um, and um, yeah. I mean, so I mean, great great group of group of guys here that that work hard and and, and want to win. And so that that that's been. Uh, been the most, uh, most fun thing to be around. And throughout this streak of you watching this team, what's been most impressive to you? Someone or something with this team? Uh, I think I think we've found it's been impressive find, finding different ways to win. I think we've, we've we have a, we have a lot of guys that can score goals and make plays, and I think I think they're starting to realize that the way they play defense, they're going to get a lot of opportunities to score, and we're able to. We've been able to play well defensively with really good goaltending, and then we're in every game, and we have a chance to win every game. And, and then, and now they're they found ways near going into the third period to to either get the win or or be right there at the end. So I mean, it's um, the confidence in, in in our game and and just going into a game knowing that you're expecting to win. I think I think we expect to win now every night. I think that's. A, a, a massive, massive plus going into a season. You can't go into can't go into hockey games thinking you're going to lose or hoping hoping you're going to win. I think we now expect to win and um, get some results and, and just keep on building on that. John Tortorella talks about you know keeping it almost like an even kill, right? Like wins come, wins go. This dips in this season. But how is it in the room with this? You have this five game streak and and you're going to be facing a couple of you know tough metropolitan yeah. you know opponents right now. How, how in the room do you kind of keep that even keel also? Yeah, I mean, I think they've done a pretty good job of going through the last last couple of weeks. I think we had a couple of tough losses. I think we rebounded really well from those losses with really good efforts. And and then that's kind of carried us into this little, little streak they got going. So, um, yeah, it, it's 82 games. It's, it's, a, it's a marathon. So you, you just you got to come every day and be ready to work and put the same work ethic in no matter when you lose. And, and, uh, and the guys have uh, they've done that pretty well. That's the, is that the next test, right? With the next time a loss does come yeah. to see how this team reacts? Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah, you can't, uh, like even today, you can't let, you know, they went five in a row, but we had a hard practice and you, you had to be on point and, and making sure that that doesn't slip because um, you can get a little lethargic or uh, a little loose when you start to win games. And I think just keeping it tight and, and, and putting the work in. Prepare the best you can and go from there. So 
said, long years and a lot of ups and downs. So we just keep chugging away.